Hello Level friends, I got another Level Jam for you today. This one was already introduced in Level 8. Today we're talking about the Verilation Eloquent method that helps you checking for a relationship existence. Follow me. In Level we often need to retrieve items depending on a relationship. So in this project for example we have airlines and we only want to get the airlines which also have flights. So what I can do is I can use the has method here and I can just provide the relationship which is flights and then I'm using the plug method in order just to get the name of our airlines. And if you run this here in Tinkerwell you can see I get four airlines back which all have flights which is pretty cool because if they wouldn't have flights it would be a pretty bad airline. All right but here we can also do more. We can also say we only want airlines where they have at least 100 flights. And you can see only Austrian Airlines has 100 flights. But here we're limited to just the count of flights, but not like columns on the flight model itself. So what we can use here instead is also the where has method. The first argument again is the relationship, but the second one is now a callback. And here we retrieve the builder, and here we can run where conditions on flights. So we only want to get flights where is delayed, which is a column on the flights field, is true. So we only want to get delayed flights. And again, we want to get only the airlines with the names. And you can see we have three airlines which have delayed flights. But there is a nicer way to write this. Let me show you. But first we are checking out what the SQL statement looks like for this query. We can toggle this in here in Tinkerwell. And yeah, we're selecting the name from airlines where exists is the method we're using here. And now we're checking all the flights with our where conditions here. Okay, so now the method that I want to show you is called where relation. And the first argument is still the same, the relation flights, but now the second one is directly our column. And the third is the value. So we can get rid of the rest, directly use plug method. And if I run this, you can see the query looks the same. And the result also looks good, but this is now a much nicer and cleaner way to use this with the where relation method. But we're also not limited to just making equal comparisons here to true. Let's check another column on our flights table, which is called expected start at. So when is the flight expected to start? And we want this to be smaller than in the next 30 days. Let's run this and yeah, we get a result back. So this looks good. And yeah, here what we're checking now is give me all the airlines that have flights with expected start at date in the next 30 days. So this is now a pretty cool way that you can use the revelation method and it's even more powerful if you want to use different comparison like the one we did here. If you haven't used this method before, please give it a try right now and I'm pretty sure you will fall in love with it as well. Have fun and see you the next time. <laughs>